I'm going to tell you now, this is a tough story to watch. A mom in Salt Lake City says that her 13-year-old son, who she says has Asperger's, was shot by police when he was having what she says was a mental episode. Golda Barton admits that she called the authorities for help. She says that her son was having a hard time coping with uh, her going back to work for the first time in nearly a year. I said, look, he's, he's unarmed. He doesn't have anything. He's, he's, he, threat he just gets mad and he starts uh, yelling and screaming. And try he's a kid. He's trying to get attention. He's, he doesn't know what, how to regulate. And I hear, get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Barton says her son has nerve damage and injuries to his intestines and other organs because of the shooting. Well, police say the boy was making threats to people with a weapon, but it's not clear if he had one. A spokesperson with the police says that they are investigating what the officers perceived as a threat. And the mayor of Salt Lake City says the incident's a tragedy. She expects the investigation to be swift and transparent, and another police department is handling this investigation. A follow-up to a story now of an African-American man who ended up being stopped by officers in Florida because they told him that he managed a suspect description, but he ended up getting a job offer from the sheriff's department. This is how it started for 28-year-old Joseph Griffin. There is a, a burglary that happened. You kind of fit the description. Let me just make really? let me just make sure that you're not him, okay? All right. So he ended up being detained, but then not arrested. Unfortunately, though, you've seen cases where a kinds of situation didn't end very well. Griffin says his particular situation was upsetting, but that the officers involved did an excellent job overall. Initially, what was going through my mind was just a lot of confusion. Uh, definitely didn't know what was going on or why I was being stopped. Um, but just wanted to do everything I could to remain compliant and get out of the situation. There is a teaching moment here for American American policing. And I think Mr. Griffin has the perfect venue and the floor to teach that. So much so that when we start our um, implicit bias training in October, I've asked Mr. Griffin to be part of that. I want my deputies to hear about how important it is to use empathy when you're stopping someone. Well, the sheriff told us that he has 40 openings on the force and offered Griffin a job, calling him a forward-thinking leader. Griffin explains he's already working hard managing an ICU, and that was the beep that you were hearing during that interview. A student gathering in southern Wisconsin led to a coronavirus outbreak at a high school.